Hi, my name is Anna. And um, who's Hispanic here? How many have been to a Hispanic party? <laughs> How many have seen something that looks like this? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody has if you've been to a party. Okay, well, this is called a recuerdo. Um, usually, like, Hispanics have them and they keep them for a while, but my mom keeps hers forever. Mm -hmm. So I have, like, so many at my house. Um, it's meant for, like, recuerdo in English means memory. So it's like a form of memory to take home with you after like the occasion. Learning more about how the guardo can help you increase your knowledge over Hispanic heritage. Okay, first I'm gonna tell you what, what it means and like what does it represent and then I'm gonna tell you how I can relate to that. It is used for many Hispanic events, parties, and festivities to like be cherished. Back in Mexico, the idea was not to forget the occasion and be able to take a little part of it back home. They are normally the centerpiece of the part, like the table where you sit to eat. They're normally in the center of it. And it's like first come, you get it. Like if you're the first family, if there's a lot of families sitting there, the first family who's there gets to take it home. But sometimes like there's new people and they'll like take it and take it to the car. <laughs> Um, it is part of the party planning. Being Hispanic, I had a quinceanera, so like I, I really liked how after like many years of that like event, I still have like memories of that back at home. I can still like look at. It's not just mentally, but also physically. Oh, and there's so many different kinds of recuerdos. Like I'm pretty sure you've seen all colors, all shades. I haven't seen edible recuerdos that like, you can eat. Um, I identify with this because, oh well, yeah, because the Hispanic heritage thing. And so today we learned how it is used. And then now, like, if you go to Hispanic parties, now you know what it means.